Hello and welcome to a new video about electrical controls. This time we want to talk about why are we using electrical controls. Huh? Well, compared to pneumatic and hydraulic controls, electrical controls need less power, are smaller, are cheaper. I mean, what do you want more? Yeah? However, sometimes, or quite a lot of times, yeah, you cannot simply forget about the hydraulic working part or the pneumatic working part, since there are benefits yeah, of hydraulic. Yeah? You cannot overload hydraulic. Hydraulic is working with full power even in standstill. Yeah? Electrical drives cannot reach this. Yeah? Electrical drives usually have issues if they are stuck. Yeah? Then it's getting dangerous. Oh, they are getting hot, they might be get destroyed. So, and also the, the sheer power of a hydraulic system, it, it, it's, it's incredible compared to, to electrical systems. Yeah? So, a usual way is then to have electrical controls, which do control electrically controlled hydraulic or pneumatic valves. Yeah? There are different valves out there. Yeah, there were wave valves, electrically controlled wave valves and so on. So that we do have the control part as an electrical control and the power part as an hydraulic or pneumatic piece. Yeah? There will be a separate series of video about such things. Yeah? Electro-hydraulic or electro controls. Yeah? This is not that unusual. Usually, nowadays, of course, most of the electrical controls, they are replaced by PLCs yeah, or electronic controls, simply because of the problem of the wear. I told you about the wear, with the contacts are sticking together, uh, the welded together and so on. This is an issue. This is an issue, especially if a control needs to switch a lot of times. Yeah. Then those relays and contacts and so on, they get destroyed, simply. Yeah. However, in some sub-elements and also for security reasons and so on, if there is battery power, then in some subroutines, electrical controls do have their field. So it's like I said, with pneumatic and hydraulic controls, they are not replaced. They have their corner. Yeah. This is the thing. Once a control method was there, it was never replaced. It was always tuned a little bit with more sophisticated controls. So also here, electrical controls are still out there. Simply because every electrician knows how to deal with them. This is also a big part, the maintenance part. If you can see what is happening, this helps the maintenance. And this is the, the reason why still a lot of electrical controls are out there. Hmm. Yeah. Next time we're going to talk about, talk about electronic controls. Hmm. Electronic controls are pretty much like electric controls, however with a different switching element. We will talk about this and we will talk about also different types of realization of electronic controls. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.